What excites you about this season with, with BA leading the charge? Um, another year with the guys, man. Um, we had a great year last year. Didn't finish how we, you know, we wanted it to, but can't overlook the year we had. We had a really good year. Um, but this year, you know, we're trying to run it back and just take it a step further. So I think uh, we have the pieces to do that. And I think, you know, everybody's locked in on the same goal. So I think we'll get there. Vernon put a lot of work in the off season. You know, uh, this is his team now. He felt inevitably last year for Nathan. What did you see from him in the off season with, with what he did with the guys at the receiving court? Um, he's just locked in. You know, we all understand it. Uh, like he stated, we all know it's a, um, there's a level, there's a level and expectation that we have now just off the year we had last year. We know what we can do and um, we know what we're capable of. And I feel as though he took that in as well, you know, coming in, stepping in for Nate. He did an unbelievable job, you know, not knowing the offense. He just stepped in and I mean, what well, we went four and two, you know what I'm saying? So he did an incredible job with that and just, like I said, he understands that there's a level and expectation at the quarterback standpoint from where Mike Riley left it from where Nate, you know what I'm saying, exceeded it too. And now, you know, it's his turn to go get a great cup. That's the only way to, you know, exceed that. So I remember chatting with Nathan as well as Brian Burnham when I looked at your receiving core and I said to I said to both of them at the time, if you could have three or four guys that could catch for a thousand yards, how do you look at this receiving core? Because I think it's one of the best in league. How do you see the depth of it? And are there a few guys who can catch a thousand yards? Yeah, I think uh everybody across the board is capable of a thousand yards, no question about it. Um it's just, you know, if, if, if it happens that way, it happens that way for sure. But like last year, we had three that did it. Um, if Byrne doesn't go down, I believe we have four. Um, if Nate doesn't go down, you know, I believe we have five with the toy. So it's just the what ifs, you know, ands, ifs, and buts. But I think we all we all are capable of a thousand yards for sure. What's the feeling, again, with Vernon? Like last year, you came into the camp. There were some question marks. You had a young Canadian quarterback. People didn't know anything about him. It turned out really well. A lot of people had question marks. <laughs> yeah. I, I didn't have no question marks about it. Yeah. Yeah. This year, you come in, though, with an established quarterback that did show himself last mm -hmm. year. What, what's the feeling? Is it like, is it, I don't want to say settled, confident, comfortable? Uh, confident. You know, I feel like we're all confident because we all believe in each other. Um, as the whole group, every single one of us believe in each other. Uh, the receivers believe in the quarterback. The qu quarterback believes in us. We believe in the O-line. You know, it's just a camaraderie between us. It's a brotherhood. And um, we all we all think and believe that we deserve that great cup. And that's what we're going after. How much of that uh, offseason work with uh, Vernon help sort of get the ball rolling, heading into training camp, give you like, a little momentum? Good. You know, it's always, to, you know, um, get closer with your brother, um, just learn them more. Because um, when it's on that field, man, it's a battle, you know, and, and with all that comes, you know, your brother has your back. So just spending time with the guys, you know, building that bond more and just, you know, having a good time. That was the Lion Kings who's Simba in the Lions receiving core. Oh, man. Um, look, he got the nickname White Lion, so <laughs> I don't know, but – I feel like we all, we all, you know, um, kings of our own, you know, um, we're all lion kings. And um, I think we show that, you know, so we just got to keep doing what we do, keep working. And um, like I said, put it on tape.